Hey, I'm Joanna Chadwick with the Wichita Eagle and VarsityKansas.com. This is the two-minute drill recapping tonight's football. And while it was a little bit wet out there, I don't know about you, but I was out in the rain, the wind, there was lightning, the the game with Trinity out there that was great. They, you know, they've got this great new stadium, and it's delayed for two hours because of the rain and the lightning and and the wind that blew everything over there. But it turned out to be a very good game, and it was Conway Springs, which wins that game 34 to 14. It was Travis Wood. The kid goes out for 199 rushing yards. Dakota Finstead, 184. Now, Tyler Burns was injured in this game. He went for a 13-yard carry in his first carry, but then after that, he's out for the whole first half, comes back, gets a 47-yard touchdown run, in, ends up with 118 yards. But Conway Springs was just too much, even though Matt Jones from Trinity had a very nice passing game, throwing for, you know, about 150 yards, and it was just a good showing by Conway Springs. Certainly the weather affected a lot of games. There will be games on Saturday, including Clearwater and Collegiate, Mulvane and Rose Hill, so you can watch for those games. But in the action that did happen, how about Colton Howell at Carroll? He is the one who came off the bench, throws a 30-yard touchdown pass, and they get the 12-7 win over Northwest. Close game there. Carroll clearly not clicking on all cylinders. Ryan Shadler out at Heston goes for 289 yards and six touchdowns. He just cannot be stopped. Andover's Cole Van Epps gets the one yard touchdown run to win that game over Andover Central. I'm taking a lot of heat for not being at that game because once again it was an amazing game. A one point win there for Andover. They got an interception from Gage Moss and a fumble recovery by Cooper Nichols late to help stop some Andover Central drives. Heights gets back on the winning side when Rashid Arnold gets an interception that he returns for a touchdown. Trey King had a couple touchdowns as well as they beat West High. West High definitely was struggling with injuries though. Cheney beats Garden Plain. Tyler Trigo had 130 yards rushing. They had 27 unanswered points in the win over Garden Plain. And a, gets a blowout win, but Hunter Knobloch, 183 rushing yards on eight carries. Yeah, eight carries. Salina South beats Hutch. Now let me just say, that I changed that pick. I did. I initially had Salinas South, switched, to, switched it to Hutch. Not that it matters. I still take the loss on that one. Salinas Central takes control and just takes it to Hutch. And Bueller gets a good win. They get Riley Allen with four touchdowns, 175 rushing yards. And Sedgwick, Dalton Brandt just continuing to tear it up. Six touchdowns, 201 yards there. So that's your recap. Hope that you did enjoy your football and that you stayed dry unlike 